actually know what's going on here. I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 Whatever, another episode. Yes. And today we are going to be doing a fun one, which I feel like is going to give us a little opportunity to maybe like do a little bit of acting it out because I'm saying like mm. it to you guys. We right. are doing two truths and a lie. So I feel like when I'm lying, I have to like really get your poker face, face on. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like you could I'll start sweating or something. <laughs> right. Like, oh, that's her lie. Or like, you know, when people are lying and they're like, like smiling. Yes. It's like, OK, so I've never <laughs> I, I've never seen Justin Bieber. <laughs> right. And you're I like, don't like mustard. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, you're like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say you never seen Justin Bieber. Right, yeah, because you were grinning like an idiot. <laughs> like, which this list was difficult. I feel like personally to do, like, because I was like, oh, that's a good one, and I was like, to share with like viewers and stuff, and I was like, um, and I'm lying directly to Ryan's face right here, like, like I'm gonna pretend like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. and so I really, it, there definitely was a curve to creating my list. I was like really trying to dig to the depth. So I was like, man, I hope Ryan doesn't know this. And if you do, pretend you don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was trying to come up with things that were like fun and interesting for the viewers. Right. Mm -hmm. But that you guys didn't already know. And turns out that is quite a small Venn diagram. Yes. 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 Like I, I'm like, oh, this is such a good story. The viewers have never heard it. I'm like, but you have. Right. And you have to be able to guess. Which actually, preparing for this episode has really made me want to do a Never Have I Ever episode. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Because then it can be all those like funny, interesting things. And it doesn't matter if the other people already know mm -hmm. it. Right. And also it's more like, oh, I have done all these things. And like, let's see who. Or like I haven't. Instead of it being like, what am I? I'm not trying to like give them any new information. Yeah. yeah. Like what we should at this point, what new information? We've just said everything. <laughs> like, we've talked about it all. That's why this was really hard. Yeah. I know. I'm well, I'm wondering, like, after we hit that one year, do we get to like start telling the stories again? Like now that I <laughs> we have, expire. We or? have definitely started to retell, retell stories. I've kept I'm like, oh, we've definitely talked about that. We've definitely talked about that. I'm me in preparing for episodes, I'm like, oh, I can talk. I definitely already told that story. I have I'm an open book. I have told you guys everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to start rehashing stories. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like, hopefully, it's like, you know, how when your friend starts telling a story and you've heard it before, but you're just like, I, I still want to hear it. Right. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Right. Uh -huh. And then what? And the, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully you guys feel the same hopefully. way. Hopefully. And the fun part about that sometimes is I'm like, ooh, I didn't get that little bit. You forgot that last time. Right. Or maybe they're just embellishing and give me a better story. And right. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, I'm here I'm, for that, too. I'm not mad at that. I'm yeah. not mad at a little extra just to give the story a little mm. Right. Like, and I was like, he's like, Paloma, you like love to just like embellish I'm like no one cares about the actual story they are just wanting to be entertained right and he's like and I'm like I'm so serious that's my motto like if I'm telling you a story I just want you to entertain right especially if it's about nothing even like serious or even right yes, like, who even cares yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I Thank feel that. You. I used to always get in trouble for that as a kid that was like something I felt like I constantly heard from like parents siblings right. teachers was like it didn't happen that way. Or like, come on, like you're embellishing a little bit. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it wasn't until you just said that that I realized like, I feel like that's not really something that people say to me anymore. So either like my lies are getting better or I've like grown and I'm like, I'll just tell the story the how way it, it happened. Is. I, find, I believe that you are telling the story how it happened, but... It's like how I think it happened. Yeah, it, from your perspective and how it went in your head. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I would prefer it than the facts. And I don't care about the facts. everybody clapped. <laughs> right, right. Everyone clapped when I hit that high scene. It was incredible, but it was like nobody. My grandma like, yeah, honey. And there was a standing Standing O. o. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But like, I feel that because guess what? I'm like gooped and I'm no, like, tell right. me more. <laughs> right. I'm, in, I'm intrigued. That's yeah. why we watch TV. And that's why we watch reality TV. You think like we're watching it because of the actual tea? Like, no. It's Give real. me the fake backstory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I have a message from the group chat Ooh. that I would love to read. If you want to be a part of the conversation and text us literally anything or just be a part of the episodes, you can text us at 917-810-3045. This one is from Anonymous, and they say, hey, girlies, happy one year. I love the podcast so much, and I just had to share with you a little story. So I've been getting closer with one of my coworkers and would consider her a new friend. The other day, we were at work, and she asked me if, she wanted, if we wanted to hang out. She said, hey, would you want to hang out with me sometime and relearn the hoedown throwdown for fun? 
I immediately thought of you three and thought, wow, this is such a friendship green flag. Of course, I said yes. Oh, Major green flag. I love <laughs> Major. that. Major. Imagine somebody like coming up to you that you like work with, right? So it's already kind of like, you know, we're touching yeah. the waters here. And like, would you? Would you want to learn a hold down, throw down? Green flag. Green flag. I'm like, are you? How do you know this about me? Right. <laughs> How do you know this? That I tells that. me that that's kind of maybe some of the conversations they've had around the office that have made her feel like, I like this girl. Like, right. we, yeah. could, we, we could be more than just work friends. Right. We could hoe down and do, throw down. We could yeah. hoe down and throw down <laughs> outside of work hours. Yes. I like that a lot. And you know, I always say first date or first hangout or whatever, it's good to like do an activity, like give yourself something right. to do while you're talking and getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. What better activity? <laughs> Yeah. Learning the hoedown throwdown. Mm -hmm. yep. And I know you had to watch a video taped on like a potato because that's what we were watching. Yeah. Like there right. was no to do like step by steps that was on a clear video. Yeah. The a, one, a recent one. It was like 240p. It was Absolutely. like the video quality. So bad. And also like this, even like the size of like the screen, like of how it was, was like so small compared to like the TV we were watching it on. Yep. Tiny. I could see the pixels. Oh. I could count there the were pixels. Eight. Yep. I'm like, the <laughs> there they all are. But that was so fun and we had such a great time. Yeah. So I hope that you and your new coworker friend have a good time. Yeah. Send us a send us a text when you do it and tell I us know, how so it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let that us know how it goes. So cute. I know, so cute. You know what that makes me want to do? Like learn another dance like that with you guys. And you know what we could do is the we're all in this together dance along. Oh, absolutely. Perfect. I, Next absolutely. filming sash. Yes. Done. That's on like the bonus features of like the DVD. And higher quality. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Better quality. Oh, and while you're watching this, if you want if you want this to be an interactive episode, uh, as the person is reading their two truths and a lie, write your guess in the comments. Yes. But like you have to do it in real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. Because no we'll know. Yes. <laughs> All right. Here is my two truths and one lie. I don't have a Twitter account. I have a personal email that is not hotmail.com. I downloaded OnlyFans. Ooh. Does she have Twitter? I know I don't see you on Twitter, but that doesn't mean she doesn't have it. I haven't been it. on Twitter, and I don't even know. Yeah. Like, do I even have a Twitter? I think you do, because I okay. remember you tweeting funny things when you lived in New York. Okay, period. Yeah. Okay. You don't have a Twitter. You have an email that's not Hotmail, a personal email that's not Hotmail. Yep. And I, I downloaded, downloaded OnlyFans. OnlyFans. I have not seen an email that's a personal email that's not Hotmail. And don't I, you, I have it. Don't you think if she had one, she would have given it to us? Because how well, embarrassing. And she would have told us because we roasted her about yes. her Hotmail. And she would have been like, uh, no. But also, I are you downloading OnlyFans? I believe it. Curiosity. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. That's fair. And ethical porn. Right. 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 Like, right. I'm all, all for it. You that's know? tea. That's I tea. I don't like that. OnlyFans take so much from the creators. But right. in terms of like ethical porn, I feel like you're getting it more straight from the source. That's tea. It's like, do you want your water bottled or would you rather like drink it straight from the fountain? Right. I don't know what the right <laughs> answer is. From the bottle? From the fountain? I don't know. I'd rather have it from the fountain. Okay, but... from the fountain. Okay. <laughs> I, I want it directly from the source, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a hotmail because I have yet to see. Okay. Yep, let's lock right, it in. Right, lock it in. All right. So my lie is I downloaded OnlyFans. She oh, does have a Gmail. You I have, have a way. Gmail. I created a Gmail. And it's in threads you guys have been in before. Thank you. I'm over here like trying not to look at you. Yep. Wow. I, 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 create, I finally was like, I need to have a Gmail Oof. to like to fix this because a year ago we were like, Paloma, you can't just have an Hotmail. Right. And I was like, okay, it's time. Oh my so God. I made, well, wow. you didn't make a whole announcement about it and now maybe you should. Maybe if you had a Twitter, you could have tweeted it. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, right. Well, here's the thing. I actually just deleted my Twitter, which that's why I thought you were gonna be like, she has a Twitter because I have... I always send her shit on Twitter and she never responds. I'm like, girl, do you know how much content? Because I don't be she on doesn't Twitter. Twitter. So I don't, yeah. But, but since Threads came out, I dropped Twitter like mm. the third day. I was like, you know what? I actually, done. I'm, I'm done here. And I deleted your account. I deactivated my account. And Ryan oh, was like, that. oops, forgot to tell my boyfriend. He all of a sudden oh. starts sending me also. He's like, babe, like, it's Someone not. Someone hacked it. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm trying to, and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, I deleted my Twitter. He's like, cool. Okay. Okay, awesome. Awesome. And I just like made a decision. Um, so yeah. Okay. So yeah. I don't have a Twitter anymore. Okay. Like, that's, that's really okay. new. I used to like really be active on Twitter actually. Right. Okay. Here we go. My two truths and a lie. One. I used to have an Instagram account that had 24K followers. I used to model when I was younger, and I wanted to be a songwriter when I was younger. Okay, so I know I feel like 
I feel like this is a little cheating, me using my information that I have on my best friend. I'm like, wait a second. I feel like we've had conversations about how I t- – we've mentioned that we've always wanted to like be like write songs but we could never do that like we wanted to be Taylor Swift but like never would come to us like we'd be like orange what rhymes with that and just right stuff so I think that that is a true I think she might have potentially wanted to be a songwriter and as a kid too and as a kid you're like really like oh is this for me you're just like Mm -hmm. I like to do Mm -hmm. that I think I also consider when you're four and you're like I'm I'm gonna be an astronaut you're like yeah I will be the president right (laughs) exactly I think I the modeling as a child makes sense because she did like movie mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's like adjacent, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's not a long jump from like, you know, oh, I've been an extra in a couple movies and like I was in a JC Penny commercial. Yep. Yep. And what was the first one? Oh, I had an Instagram account that had 24K followers. Instagram. <clears throat> I'm trying to think about that. Yeah, I don't that one I'm kind of stumped on because I totally believe it. Like, but she's also never brought it up. Please. But also maybe that's why she put it in here. I was going to say, let me know if we're not telling the internet this, but I was like, the only platform that I'm aware of that you like were like, I had so many was when you were doing the Justin Bieber fan account. Which maybe that's it. I don't know if it was Instagram though. And I mm-hmm. don't know if it was Instagram. But she, I think it's that one. I think it was some, I, I don't think it was on Instagram because okay. it was before Instagram was like All right, giving let's it, do it to us. Let's do it. Okay, I'm locking it in. Yep. You never Locking had an in. account with 24,000 followers. Uh, yes, I have. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. And it was the Justin Bieber <laughs> account. <laughs> it was the Justin Bieber account. fan yeah. account. It was Instagram. It was an wow. Instagram? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And I was like, is it a Discord? It was like a thingy, something mm-hmm. else. It was Instagram. It was a- mm-hmm. Oh, my God. So the lie was that I never actually wanted to be a songwriter. Like, mm. I wrote songs and like thought I could and yeah. like but then found out I couldn't but I never wanted to be a songwriter okay 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 okay, okay. got him wow you got me good <laughs> now you really the- you really played me with my facts I, was I know sh- I know I, I-, I was like oh f-. like you were spitting the facts and I was like oh no oh no then same like the only time I've heard you like talk about like a previous account with like a following was Justin Bieber but in my brain I was like was it Tumblr Mm-hmm. Like, was it like what was it? Mm-hmm. I lit. I that was the platform Tumblr. I was like, what gets notes? Tumblr, right? Yeah, yeah. It was Instagram. What was the last thing you posted on there? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. Not even a clue. When was the last time you were in that account? Year wise, probably twenty thirteen. Mm. Yeah, does like, it, it still exist? I have no idea. Didn't I don't know. Oh I, well. It could, but I also like sold it. Oh, you sold it. <laughs> yeah. She was a hustler. Because I, I was like, I'm like going into senior year. Like yeah. I like I'm so I can't like do this. And it was so much work. I mean, I had 24K. So I was like doing a lot of I was doing a lot. And I was like, I just can't. And I was like, but it has so many followers. And I was mm-hmm. like, I could just sell this to like somebody who wants it. So I sold it. It could exist. Couldn't tell you. I have Not no idea. Not that being your like social media manager origin story. That, yeah. It literally is. That's yeah. like literally how I started doing like Instagram and stuff. Like for real. I know. Wow. That, that is so cool. A fan account. Cute. <laughs> if you knew me back then, then you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. These three are all things from high school. So in high school, dot, 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 one of my Draco and Hermione fanfics went viral on Tumblr. I secretly bought a farm animal and hid it from my parents. And there was a rumor that I was pregnant. Okay. 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 The farm animal one has got to be true. I feel that too. That's got to be true. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because this bitch smuggled in a chicken of some sort. Smuggled in something that that didn't belong in her house. Yeah. I'm like, I'm thinking about like school. What animals she could get her hands on? They had snakes. Any. I feel like any that definitely shouldn't have been there. Mm -hmm. And Wes and Lori were like, girl. Yeah, yeah. Right. I really this and then the, and the, but the fan fiction. I know. Uh, we know she was writing it. You but know, was she posting it on Tumblr? Mm, Tumblr. We haven't really heard much about Tumblr from her like that. I know. I know. I feel like that too. I know. I know. She was a Tumblr. Maybe girly if I stare going, at her for long enough, she'll <laughs> crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> like, like <laughs> stare at her. Um, and then I'm like, and the rumors about being pregnant. I'm like, those in high school or like when we I were know. younger are like in, know, in I, between. Like no, that's I probably. Mean, I mean, easy. right. That's like. Who has Ever, who, who, yeah, yeah. Who those hasn't accusations. Been yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. Oh, the accusations. <laughs> this book. Oh, God. I kind of feel 
I feel like we would have heard about the tongue. One. Really? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I feel oh, like no. we've heard about the lore. So, like, in those moments that right, we're talking she about, been she like, been and like, it went viral. And low key, it went viral at one point on Tumblr. Okay, T, T, T. Because, like, uh, I know T, but, like, wouldn't we also have heard, like, if they were spreading rumors about her, though, she was pregnant? Like, she probably would have been so sad because, okay, but here's the thing. And, like, respectfully, she was like struggling with how she felt about herself. And for somebody to think she was pregnant that was going around, like she probably would have been like, oh my God, like what the fuck's happening? The fuck, the fuck. And I feel like we've talked so much about her high school experience that we would have heard that. You're right. You guys don't have to agree. You can guess different things. That's true. Oh yeah. No, That's always so forget. true. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the pregnant one. I don't, I don't think, I don't think that that happened. We probably would have known about that. That's what I'm saying. But, but also, right. I, but I agree with the viral one. I Me agree thinking, with that. What would Sierra most likely already had shared, right? Like it's like, like would have, it, I, that's the only thing. I'm, but we've talked about the fan fiction so which much. Which is why I'm like, I don't she would have brought it up. We have to choose. I don't know. You just need to pick. I've already <laughs> She's chosen. She's herself over You got to pick. All right. I'm sticking with the Tumblr notes, I think. Okay. Please. I did buy a secret farm animal and hide it from my parents. I knew it. was it. a pig, right? It No, it was ducks. And oh it was my Mackenzie. God. But I did not ever have fanfic go viral. Most of my fanfic I did not post. The couple that I did post, literally two, two notes. <laughs> like, no one saw it. So when Kenzie and I were in high school, we used to take the train in our local area, like kind of in our county from place to place. So, mm -hmm. you know, we could take it to the beach. We could take it to like Barnes and Noble, wherever. And our parents were like, cool with that. So one day we took the train over to Barnes and Noble. And then next to Barnes and Noble was a feed supply store. And we used to go there to get pig food for my family's pet pig. I oh, knew right. there was a pig. Yeah, okay. there was a pig. <laughs> So we were like, oh, like, that's fun. Like, let's go in there and, like, see the animals. Like, they right. always had farm animals. And they had a, a, a ton of baby ducks. They had just had this, like, surplus of baby, baby ducks. And they were $10. $10 a duck. A deal. A deal. Oh, truly. And us being completely delusional, we're like, let's buy the ducks. We'll bring them. We'll, we'll make a little area for them in the backyard and then in a couple weeks we'll tell our parents but like we'll keep it secret for now how an excellent question i, I just want to say that you guys were like ducks plural ducks. yes like, you guys were like oh we're gonna get a duck yes also these ducks. people just let these teenagers buy the ducks yeah we were like hi uh tell us about your ducks and they were like telling us all about like where they came from and like they're like do you guys already have ducks and we're like oh yeah oh yeah we're gonna add them to our flock so we bought the ducks right we get food and stuff for them we get back on this. Well, we try to get back on the, the train and they're like, ma'am, you cannot bring ducks on this train. Right. Oh, my God. Did you have them hidden and they, they were, were found in like a out? crate. So you tried going on. Uh, yeah. Wow. Like a dog. Yeah. Come on. Right. And, there and she their names were Mimi and Petrie. So we're like, come on, Mimi and Petrie. Like, right. Here we go. Right. So then <laughs> we had to call one of our guy friends who already had his license because this was like summer going into junior year, mm -hmm. to come pick us and the ducks up. So the boy drops us off. We like sneak into the backyard. My parents are home. We're like hiding them in the side yard. And we have like all sorts of stuff for animals at our house. So we're like mm -hmm. making them a cool little area, mm -hmm. little enclosure, and just loving life with our ducklings. Right. Like this is the best day ever. So we sneak back inside after a couple hours outside with them. And my mom and dad are very suspicious because they're like, they're being so secretive. They're whispering. They're giggling. Right. Like, and what were they doing in the side yard? So my dad's like, I'm going to go investigate. It has to be like drugs or alcohol. Right. They, they're hiding something in the backyard. So the way my mom tells the story is my dad went down and he comes up busting Scream. out laughing. And my mom's like, what? What is it? And my dad's like, they bought ducks. <laughs> my mom's like, like a statue? No, no, no. Ducks. Ducks. So my mom goes down and looks at them. My parents are trying to decide what to do. And my mom's like, well, before we make any plan, let's like mess with them a little bit. So oh. my parents were going out shopping for new decor for my grandma's house. And they start sending us pictures of anything with a duck on it <laughs> and being like, what do you think of this for grandma's house? Like a duck lamp? Like this picture of a duck? Right. Kenzie and I are like, we're so stupid. We're like, do you think they know? No. <laughs> no. 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 So long story short, many more shenanigans ensue of my parents just messing with us and us trying to hide these ducks. And eventually, you know, they make us come clean about it. And we talked to Kenzie's parents and we made up a plan that they were going to like stay at Kenzie's house and then my house. And then we'd like make a full area for them because I was about to leave for church camp. Mm. So we had like a week of bliss with Mimi and Petrie. Mimi and Petrie. Amazing. We're like thriving. I went to church camp. Unfortunately, uh, 
they got eaten by coyotes. <gasps> no. Yeah. Oh at Kenzie's gosh. house. Tragic. So we, cause we had like an enclosure for them, but they like, a coyote like broke in. Right. And, Oh, Ate them. So. R.I.P. Petrie. Yeah. I know. Mm. R.I.P. Yeah. Mimi and Petrie. Was it irresponsible to get ducks? Yes. Yeah. Was I 15? Yes. Yeah. Was it also a hysterical story? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, that is so iconic. Damn. And I want you to be prepared for Grace to sneak an yeah. animal home. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. At that least is, it wasn't drugs. No, right. That's right. true. <laughs> Listen. And that's why. And that's when my parents were like trying to like lay down the law, like this was irresponsible. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you told me you thought it was drugs. So how so is this So you worse? should be thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's true. And then um, when I took my grippy sock vacay mm-hmm. in high school and then decided to not come back to high school for that next year, junior year. So I just left, right? Mm-hmm. And then senior year, I was going to try to come back. I came back for a couple days and was like, I'm going back to independent study. Like, mm-hmm. I'm over it. But in those couple days that I came back, a teacher approached me and was like, Hey, so you left for like a year. Interesting. And now you're back? Like, hmm. And he started insinuating like that I was, I left because I was pregnant. Oh, oh. Mm. And I was like, that's really inappropriate. He was yeah. right. super, was say, super inappropriate. Very. And after that, and I, I didn't know what to say because I didn't want to be like, I tried to unalive myself. Right. LOL, science teacher. Right. Like, I just felt so uncomfortable about it that I was just like, I, I I don't know I don't know what to tell you like no yeah. I'm, I I didn't have a baby but yeah and he's like well and I was dating someone who was in one of his classes he's like oh well I know you're dating this guy so like maybe I should ask him and it was so weird and oh ew. my god ew. yeah ew. and no one had like asked me about that before it's just like oh so you're left for a year and like now she's back like I feel like that happens yeah like yeah. who cares like yeah. people move and like do shit like yeah. it's like whatever that's weird but yeah. after he brought that up then it started going around he started a rumor I was gonna say mm. so I don't want to say he started the rumor but like it, it it originated near him right for sure yeah but yeah I felt like that was pretty messed up cause like I don't know what what is what if I was right oh yeah who cares like that's not yeah, your business not your business also like I don't know just the reality of the situation kind of put me in a weird spot where like I like most of my friends knew what happened, but it wasn't like common knowledge at the school. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but also like inappropriate. It, yeah, inappropriate. And like, did you just want, are you just like nosy? Tea? Like, are you just asking me? Yeah, for it wasn't fun? giving like, support. It was really just like, so, like, ex- what, what what happened? It kind of yeah. was giving like shame a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Like the way that, the, <sighs> even the way he asked was like, on his so, answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you so, didn't give him the answer he wanted, he was like, well, I'm going to go ask right, the other and, person because da da Right, yeah. right. Oh, and you know what I remember about it too was I didn't catch on right away what he was insinuating because mm. he was oh. like, you left for a year. And I was like, yes. And? And he's like, what's that? Like a, a school year. That's like nine months and some change, right? Like that was kind of how he said it. I don't like oh. that. Yeah. And that's when I caught on like, Oh. oh, oh! you're being weird. Yeah, Ew. You're saying I got pregnant, left school, had a baby, and now I'm back. And now you want me to tell you, oh, oh I had a baby, right. and now I'm back. Let me tell you about my secret baby. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. So Good weird. God. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> not it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My next two truths and a lie are, growing up, I hated the color pink. In middle school, my most prized possession was my sidekick cell phone, and I was obsessed with Bratz dolls. I believe that she didn't like the color pink because we've talked about the not like other girls thing. Right. But it's hard for me to picture a Paloma who didn't love pink. I've never heard her talk about Bratz dolls in my life, ever. And maybe I don't listen to when she talks, potentially. <laughs> potentially. <laughs> but I've never heard that. But I do, I feel like we kind of all had a moment where we were like, not pink, like, ew. I feel like we all had that and we've chatted about that before. And I feel like she would put that in there to try to throw off the scent of like, oh, that's a lie. Paloma, she's she loves She is pink, pink. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is hard to just sit here and watch you guys discuss it. Because I want to be like, <laughs> or, or like, right. I don't know. And what was the other What was the other one? Growing up, I hated the color pink. Right. In middle school, my most prized possession oh, was my sidekick, sidekick. cell phone. Believe and it. I was totally. obsessed with Bratz dolls. Okay, definitely believe. Bratz. Yeah, it's got to be Bratz. Yep. Lock it in. Yeah. That's my lie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is in fact bah, 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 wrong. <gasps> oh. I was obsessed with brat stalls. That was my sleeping bag. I had like the bag to open them up and carry around with them. I had every single brat stall. Like that I've was never heard this going in my to life. Walmart. I was like, Dad, take me to get a new brat stall. Wow. I I've never heard this in my life. Wow. 
TBT. Because wow. it's just not really as uh, topical now, I guess, <laughs> because it doesn't. But I will not tell you. Not really. But now, you, now is the time to start talking about it because we're talking about Barbie and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. But you know what? As which is not even on topic, but so weird. When I wrote this down in my nap in my notes app preparing for this episode, writing I was obsessed with brat dolls, I all of a sudden started having Amazon promote me brats co- like material, like phone cases, shirts, and stuff like that. And I haven't seen brats promoted right. to me in so long. So right. don't know what that is, but I swear to God on everything, I have not typed in brats or right. like looked up brats. Right. And now it's on my Amazon. So don't know wow. what that is. Wow. Okay. But yeah. So growing up, I hated the color pink. I was like hell no right. i'm not gonna of course yeah because like, like all, other girls i was gonna say we definitely yeah, yeah. and okay. my si- and i never had a sidekick i wanted one i oh. really wanted a sidekick but i that's a lie i because remember like they would flip oh it. yeah oh oh of I course. Wanted, but i never well that's oh, why when dang. he said that one i'm like there's no way she wasn't obsessed with it exactly but the but question, i guess she didn't she didn't have, have it one, she so. would have been obsessed with it right oh that was good Thank and you. also i could picture you as one of the sidekick girls you know oh, the way they flip it yeah Oh, I wanted absolutely. to be one so bad. Uh, and you had what it takes. You, totally. you had the flip. I have the persona for, yeah. for a sidekick. Oh, like, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn, that was good. Yeah, Thank you. We are like not. We you haven't gotten got any. No? I did. You did. No. No, no, no she did. did. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to pick one that's like hard. I used to want 12 kids. <laughs> I won vice president in fourth grade. I won an award for showing ponies. Showing ponies like. Like a dog show. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like she wanted 12 kids at one time, like, so crazily. Like, yeah. maybe young, young, when she was, like, with her, like, siblings. And she was like, I just love them so much. And, like, taking care of them is just so awesome. So I want 12 children. Because that's what she wants us to think. Because she doesn't want, like, children. So right. To come out with that. I don't right. Know. What do you think? I I don't know. I believe that there was a time when Ryan, like, was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to have kids. But 12? Cheaper by the dozen did come out when we were That's young. That's true. That's true. And yeah. yours, mine, and ours, they what? were just like with the big families. I oh know. My God, I, I forgot d- about that one. That's a good, good movie. One. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dennis Quaid. Mm-hmm. Right. Oof. Right. Is Love it him. Drake in that? Drake yes. from Drake oh, and Josh. Yeah. Yes. And Hillary Duff. And the girl from no, Sky Hillary High. No, Hillary Duff. Oh, she's cheaper by the dozen. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Who? The girl from Sky High. I'm blanking on her name. Oh, oh yes. Danielle. Panna Baker? Panna Baker? Of the Panna Baker sisters. Of Panna Baker sisters. Of the Panna Baker fortune? Yes. I feel like she at one point was Delulu with the 12, the 12 kids. kids. Just for yeah. ha ha ha. So I don't then, know. do you think it's the ponies? <laughs> Showing ponies sounds like what? Uh, I've never heard about that's that. That's so but out there. But Indiana. That's, that's, the, that's what Indiana. It, Indiana. I'm like, maybe her family. She could have gone out there and, and they're like, do you want to be in the pony show? Like, take a pony. And, and she's we know like, we're down do? to be in a show. Yes. So she's, she's like, I'll be in the show. <laughs> she doesn't know what she was doing, but she was like, I'm down. A show? A Shut show. me up. <laughs> yeah. That was it. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> so I feel like that happened. Yeah. <laughs> but like VP in school and I'm like, and all the stories, she was like, I was only there for like the fun. And like to be that, I feel like they are so anal about you. Oh, you have to have like the highest grades. You have to have this like requirements to be VP of what was it? VP I'm just, elementary I'm just school. Grade. Yeah. Uh, I also like, I don't know. I, I could, I could totally see her winning it. So I'm like, I would vote for her. And I was like, and VP, very important person because also v- Not VIP. Oh. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm a yeah. president. V- they're just very Vice person. President. There's no important. Very person. Very person. <laughs> very <laughs> human. Vote. That's why I'm like, I would vote for her. If she's a VIP, I'm voting for I her. Because I. <laughs> God. Who here is really giving VP energy on like, this bitch? Well, a very person. You are very person. Thank you. Thank I would you. vote for you as a very person. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think, Sierra? I, oh, man. I I could see the president one being the lie because maybe the truth is that she lost. Like she ran and she lost. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That was so many mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But Paloma's just focused on being very person right now. <laughs> Very. <laughs> what All do you right, think? I want to lock in the VP. Let's go VP. Let's go VP. Correct. Yes. Correct. Nice job. Except the showing ponies had nothing to do with Indiana or oh, anything like give that. It to us, I then. was in Girl Scouts and we went to like some. I don't know, some away camp and there was like horses there and all that stuff. And I wanted to. And at the end, you could do like a thing to win an award. And I wanted to do the riding show. Like I wanted to ride the horse and like that's what I wanted to do but I didn't get picked for that because I like wasn't the best at it 
And I wasn't, I didn't want to show the ponies, but I was giving face. And she that's was why, in a show. I, yeah. And I was so <laughs> mad because I was like, I don't want to show the ponies. Like, oh my God. And I was having the worst allergies ever, obviously. Being around all the uh, animals yeah. and like horses and stuff. It was so bad. But I like walked the pony and I was like, <laughs> J- mm. Girl. yeah. And so I won. <laughs> Yeah, they were like nobody looked at the pony. They were no, just, they were just looking, looking at, at me, yeah. catwalking down yep. that shit. Yep, and I did used to want twelve kids because of cheaper by the dozen. Oh, yes! I love that you got it from that. <laughs> yeah. I too. can't believe it, but yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. thank it, you. That was that was what it was because I was like, oh my god, this is so fun. There's so many kids, and they're like, I mean, it's like they're struggling, but like, how fun? Yeah, <laughs> delusional. It's giving fun part. Like, it's giving party like house. fun party like, house. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. I love exactly. It. And I did run for B- VP, and I lost. Mm. So you were right. I also lost seventh Damn. grade, though. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It's it's that feeling of like, dang, I just shouldn't dang. have run. I know. I'm like, like what now was this I is for? embarrassing. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to make like posters and do. I had. I did all this stuff. It was so dramatic. All right, y'all ready? Yes. Y'all ready for this? Okay. <laughs> we switched to the SpongeBob one, didn't we? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I have never broken a bone. I've never had a showmance, and I've never missed a flight. I feel like I just want to go right away. Showmance has to happen. Ha- you did- can't do theater without a showmance. Bro. And if she says she hasn't, Bro. I'll tell her she's a liar. Look at in her. her face. No, I know. She's I, like, I, all, I will look, she's at, like, I will she's look like, at her and I'll say, I, you are lying. Yeah, I was loving boys and doing all this stuff and I want this, 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 and I was kissing everybody. Bro, come on. Come See, on. Ron, you come had on, a show. That's come true. On, has, true. That's got to be it. Okay. It's got to be true. And then what was the other one? Oh, that she's never broken a bone. She played a lot of sports. That feels. Yeah. That feels uh, like a bit of a stretch. Mm-hmm. Like the soccer and all that stuff. Okay. And she said she was like playing. Mm-hmm. But. Oh, this girl's giving missed a flight. Bro, she's always late. I feel like she missed a flight. Okay, you've never broken a bone. For a perf- I think that's what I want to submit. I don't want to think anymore. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> Final decision. Okay, okay. But it's which one's the lie. So I've never broken a bone. I've never missed a flight. And I've never had a show mask. Oh, shit. Right. Wait, okay, hold on. The only thing I'm questioning never now. Never missed a flight. I don't know about that. Well, I was going to say showmance and only because I feel like she's always, when she was younger doing shows, she was like in relationships <gasps> that maybe weren't not relevant to the show. Like yeah, they were from school. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter. I, I was going to say, I, 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 I feel guess like that doesn't matter. I've seen a lot of girls say. that have had boyfriends and somehow there's still a showmance going on and it's not cheating. They're not doing, they're just like showmance. Who cares? So what? I don't know what to. Oh God, I don't know now. A broken bone. I we've. I don't know if I've ever heard her mention no, but anything like the about the amount broken. of sports and like having boys as brothers. Like, just sounds like broken bone century. I think I meant to say central. Broken bone central. But whatever. But also, the, I've never missed a flight. I feel like she has missed a flight. I feel like she's missed a flight too. Ha, she's yeah. So then that's the lie, right? Because it's I've never. Oh right. I don't want to be wrong. I'm submitting flight. I'm gonna go with broken. No, no, no. Sorry. Wait. Hold on. I think I'm. I'm gonna go with flight as well. Okay. I feel wrong. Showmance. <laughs> Final answer. Showmance. Showmance. You are both wrong. I've broken a bone. I have never had a showmance and I've never missed a flight. I know. Sierra, you were lying to me right now. I feel <laughs> like showmance. I no, did yeah. miss out on like a pinnacle theater experience mm. by never having a showmance. But I was oh always God. like the wing woman. Mm. I was like the matchmaker of the cast. Like I love oh, yeah. doing that of being like, so, like, what do you think of her? Like, what do you think of him? Like, I never had a showmance either. Okay. So I feel that. Oh, yeah. period. Oh, yeah, me either. <laughs> no, I'm da, so da, devoted da, to the da, art. Da, I'm too busy. I'm too, yeah, too right. focused. If it had fallen in my lap, like, oh, I don't get me wrong. It. Oh, yeah. my God, yeah. And I probably kissed half the people I've ever done a show with. 100%. But it wasn't a showmance. Right. <laughs> it was just, like, theater kids being never had a showmance, yeah. Oh. And, you're, and you were right. I Like, a lot of the times it was, like, especially in high school, so I had two like long term back to back relationships. See, like, yeah, that's what yeah. I was like. This girl would be in relationships, and, like again, just like what you said. I know that really doesn't mean much sometimes. And yep. here's the thing: I think that the word also showmance is like different for everyone because sometimes it could be like, oh, you were really like own like talking to some guy and like really gonna start dating him or whatever. But there's like showmances where like they just really have crushes on each other and they're with each other all the time and nobody tells anybody anything. And I would consider right. that a showmance. Right. So which is why right. I'm like right. well if right. you thought he was cute and we kissed him during the show, it's kind of giving showmance. Right. Even if you didn't like like do plan any more. To like, or like plan to like, like be with you, them yeah. after. Yeah. Like if you kissed in the green room during chain what like that's yeah. a showmance. Uh, I I feel like I agree. never even had that. I I wasn't doing that. Because again, I was the, the amount of 
boys in the cast already, minimal. Slim. Right. Yep. Very slim. Mm-hmm. Very slim. Then it was like the amount of straight boys in the cast. Even slimmer. Even slimmer. And then from that pool of like two or three, I was playing matchmaker right. for and the also, other girls. Yeah. If you were one of those boys, you were probably already playing a love interest with another girl, which wasn't me. Yep. I mean, or yeah, like I was not. So that's your showman. like in our minds, you, we're like, exactly. All right, you uh, guys Spring are, Awakening, okay, Venla and him. They're okay, probably going to like do whatever. Totally. I've had three on stage kisses. Two were gay, one was married. So. Period. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I broke my bone. I broke my arm uh, as a child. When, we used to do this thing. We called it toddler luge. So Austin had all of these like toddler bikes and things, right? Like the little cozy coop and the tricycle. My parents have that big hill on the side Mm. of their house. So from like eight years old to up until like 12 or 13, we would have all of our friends over, line up these, sit in these toys, these little toddler toys on the top of the hill and ride them down to see how fast we could go. Mm. And I I broke my arm doing the toddler luge. I was going to say, that sounds like a broken bone waiting to happen. Yep. I, how do you win toddler loose? <laughs> you break your arm. You break your arm. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the game you keep playing until someone gets hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, and, and it, it was my fault, too, because we kept trying to one-up it. And it was like, oh, I'm going to put my feet over the handlebars. It was one of those little, right. like, plastic Fisher-Price mm-hmm. trikes. Yep. I can see it. Yes. Yeah, I told, as soon as you said that's what you were doing with the toddler toys, I was like, okay. Because well. I used to take mine down the driveway, too. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Oh, yeah, and I would get in trouble because mm-hmm. what are we doing? There was always a crack. There's, like, a crack on the driveway for you to just, like, flip up. Oh, yeah. And that that's, I hit a bump. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's what happened. But, yeah. We all live the same life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my next one is, I have never had Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. I have never had McDonald's McRib, and I have never had a Sunday from Dairy Queen. Oh, the Dairy Queen one must be criminal. Well, I guess unless you have a, uh, uh, what's what's the the good one? That Blizzard. Ever... Blizzard. Yeah, mm. like a Sunday. Who's going to Dairy Queen for a Sunday? Right, but also I feel like at one point that is what people did. Not like, the, the the yeah no and, yeah the Blizzard, the Blizzard, but like I think people were getting like Sundays. Remember how big Sundays were back in the day? Yeah. Like nobody's yeah. talking about Sundays anymore. But I feel like that was a thing. And I also do not, but I don't think, I, I think that she's never had uh, the pizza from Taco Bell. That yeah. sounds like something she's super not interested in. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like you're like going to go to Taco Bell and get You're going to get a Crunchwrap Supreme and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But so, it's the iconic Mexican pizza. Yeah, no, I know what yeah, it is. Yeah, she's trying to talk us out of it. It's the pizza. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what is it? I've never had. Yeah, I've never so, had to any of them. I've, I've never, never had, had this uh, Mexican pizza, the McRib. And Dairy Queen Sunday. Okay, I think that you have had the Dairy Queen Sunday and the McRib, and I think you have not had. So I think. Wait, wait. How do we play this game? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're the, picking the one the she lie. has done. Yeah. So you have. Okay, okay. You have had the McRib. Yeah. Right. D- absolutely. Okay. Hundred percent. Yeah, you have had the McRib. Okay. That's, McRib. That's yeah. Final answer. Maybe I played this game wrong. <laughs> Are you dumb? I think I'm fucked up, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god! Because wait, wait. Now that you said that, because the answer, the true, is that I've never had Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. I've never done that. Yeah, and you—that's what you said to us. I so it, it, oh. it should have been. I've had Mexican I've had pizza. I've had the Mexican McRib. pizza. You went straight to never have I ever. Yeah. Dang. Okay, but we were yeah. right about but the no, pizza. But no, but I was gonna say, but yeah, you know, but you're we so were right. right. That was absolutely yeah. when you you what you said. Before you put it all together and I realized I was wrong, you were like, oh, yeah, she's had the McRib, she's had the Sunday, but right. she's never had. And I was like, yep, that's yep. the truth. Yep. So the okay. truth is, so even okay. though I misspelled in uh, grammar, right, right, can, right, right. cannot, have, have not, it is okay. <laughs> I have had a Sunday from Dairy Queen and I yes. have had the McRib. Yes. I have never, had ever the- had the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. I didn't even know it existed until it came back and People were but like Doja Cat was like losing their mind doing about it. the and most they, about it on TikTok. I remember, and I was yeah. like, I, I I was at a photo shoot one time with Katie, and she was like, Oh my god, it's back! Like, and I was like, A what? She's the like, what? We're gonna go to Taco Bell and get the Mexican pizzas. Like, they just came back, and I was like, Sh-. She's like, Hold on, you got it. I'm like, I hear you, but I don't know what the hell you're talking about. A pizza at Taco Bell? Did that girl that's giving a little not good, right? And so then, and <laughs> right. in that moment, she was like, No, these are like from childhood. Like people, like I didn't wait, know. really. I brought it up to Ryan and he, and I was like, cause like, ew. And he was like, that actually like cut deep, Paloma, <gasps> because they are a part of my childhood. He goes, every t- he's like, I remember growing up and eating those. Like those were so iconic. And that's why when it came back, everyone was like, that remembered. I, right? I didn't know. I thought they were new. 
Uh, yeah. I didn't know that they were from back in the day. They just came back and they are permanently on the menu. Oh. Is what I've heard, but I've never had one. Right. Uh, comment below if you have had one and you enjoy it and it might encourage me to do it. I was... I saw a picture of it and I thought they had spread marinara on the top of it, but it was actually the salsa from. Oh, okay, but I looked that makes at a photo sense. and I was like, ew. Ew. And Ryan was like, excuse you. He was like, that's right. not very nice to just say ew. <laughs> right, right. And I was like, he's personally offended. offended. Yeah. 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 You can't just say Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It looks a little bit like marinara at glance. And I'm like, right. disgust. That also just kind of looks like a double decker tostada. Yeah, it also like looks like bites. an inside out, like, Crunch wrap. So then Ryan said that. He's like, why? He's like, oh, but you like a crunch wrap supreme? It's the same thing, Paloma. It's just sh- like in a different, it, they're giving different it to you in font. a different way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taco Bell is the same ingredients, just different font in different ways. Right. right. And I was like, you're so right, sir. Before I accuse this, I thought it was marinara and you are so right. I shouldn't even ill food to begin with. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> so that's how right. that went. And I don't know how to play the game. So <laughs> great. We're doing good over awesome. here. Awesome. Awesome. Ryan, I think you're next. I am. <laughs> You got me like, do I know how to, am I doing this correctly? <laughs> I think I am doing it right. Okay. I've had a car door shut on my hand. I've never broken a bone. LOL. <laughs> I used to ride the bus in middle school. She's definitely had the car door slammed on her hand. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that. I feel like somewhere in the depths of my memory, she's told me that story and I was like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> because I too also remember having my hand and closing the damn door and having to walk into, uh, oh. I had choir practice and my mom dropped me off. And so I closed the door and I just was like, and she had driven off, <gasps> driven off. And so I just had to like go into class and my thumb was like, so my nail fall off, fell off. So oh, it wasn't that man. bad. And I just remember being like, what? Do re mi It, that was the first time. Wait, did I, your nail fall off right then? No, it took like later. Oh, it took time, time. But it, it went like purple and purple shit. Purple and then fell off. But it was like that impact. Like, And I remember my mom picking me up and I got in the car and I just started crying. And she was right. like, what happened? Like, And she right. was like freaking out. She was like, what happened? And I'm just like sobbing. And I'm like, oh my God, when you dropped me off. And she was like, holy shit. And I was like, and I couldn't cry in there. Like, they, And I was like running late. So I like literally walked into choir practice like tiptoeing. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. I know. Sorry, Poor baby wow. pee. I know. So I feel like I Ow. remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't recall this story at all, but Jesus. Ouch. Ow. My thumb's yeah. like hurting. Yeah. Is that the one you lost too? <laughs> my thumb. <laughs> it's working, ladies. Phantom pains. <laughs> I totally believe the riding the bus. Did you ever ride the bus? Mm-hmm. Yeah, me yeah. too. I, I rode the bus in elementary school. For yeah. L- like half the time. I'm going with bone. And I was going to do that with Sierra and I regret not doing it. So bone. Bone. Incorrect. I've never broken a bone. Oh. Oh, oh I thought you That's said I've what... never broken a bone. I said I've broken a bone. Oh, did I say I'm not me? Not, not yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I did it wrong. Wait, okay. So we think I totally that she did it wrong. has not broken a bone. Yes. Yes. I think she has not broken a bone. Yep. Right. I think you have slammed the car door. Yes. And I think you did ride the bus. I did it wrong. So, so everyone is right and wrong. I have had the car door shut on my hand. I've never broken a bone and I never rode the bus in middle school. I wrote two lies and a truth. <laughs> I totally she said, Let didn't me lie to these bitches. <laughs> you know what's funny though? I had such an easier time coming up with the lies than I did the truths. So I get it. My lies was so, ah. and I think, and actually now that we're here, I, while I was prepping for the show, I remember at one point Ryan was like, do you know how to play this game? Cause I was pitching it and he's like, that's incorrect. So I'm upset that I didn't get to the one that I just fumbled the bag right. on for him to tell me. Or do you know how to play? Do you the know game? how to play the game? But I did have to also reword some stuff. Damn. Uh, so like with Palomas, we were right, but we were wrong. Yes, because I was wrong mm-hmm. because I don't know so again g- how to give play us, the game. Give us the stories now. Okay. So I mean, I've never broken a bone, so I've simply just never broken a bone. Blessings. Knock on wood. There's wood somewhere. Um, my getting my hand shut in the car door. We were at like some campsite, and. You know how like in the vans that have like the slider like doors. So I was holding my hand like on the side of like the where the doors meet, right? Yes. Where you shut the door and then the front front door, right? So I was holding my hand here and I was just chatting, chatting, chatting. And there was a kid in the back, like they were getting ready to leave and they just like slammed the door and it got stuck. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. and then the and then the door, like, and then they slid the door open and I was like, oh. It kind of oh. was giving when I hurt my hand yeah. yesterday, but uh. whatever. <laughs> um, but Flashbacks. it, it kind of felt like that. But yeah, it was cracked. It was so insane. 
And I never rode the bus to school because I never rode the bus to school. So at that I, I did this wrong. I just did it wrong. <laughs> Please. So sorry for coming for you. I also did it wrong. So I apologize. Hope you accept my apology. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and sorry to you guys. Now They're I'm like, like okay, Sierra. I know. Really? <laughs> and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I literally reread it and was like, no, this is right. I did it right. So do a little double checking just in case. A little double check. Okay. Just in case we're all just so stupid. Okay. All right. These ones are all about dating. My first kiss is now a SoundCloud rapper. When me and my high school boyfriend broke up, I broke into his house to steal back my Pokemon cards. And an A-list celebrity tried to hit on me. I want the A-list celebrity hitting on her. I want that to be true. I know. I want that to be true. So I'm going to accept that as true. Would Sierra break into someone's home for her Pokemon cards? I feel like yes. This bitch stole a duck. She'd steal it. Sorry. She bought snuck a duck. She smuggled a duck. She smuggled, she smuggled a duck. duck. I'm like, she did. That's she where paid it smuggled. The dog. Smuggle. Sorry, the dog. Sorry, duck. Sorry. But okay. like, once you're like in in that territory, I'm like, oh, she's down. Like, right, we'll, right. Well, that's true. Right. And if Kenzie was around, she was She'd encouraging like, I'm coming her with you to too. get yeah, the yeah, yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah she's true. like, oh yeah, girl. Guess what's get- yours? Go get your kids. Yeah. Okay. Which is T. Or her first kiss is now a SoundCloud rapper, which I also so, think is true. Oh my god, this one's hard. Okay. Is she breaking into houses? No. But like, I want she... it to be. No. I really don't think so. But also for so the Pokemon either. cards, probably. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't want to look. <laughs> I know. Don't look at her. I know she's looking at us, but don't look at her. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But also how iconic if she did do that. Maybe that's what it is. I want her to have broken into but a house to get her kids. The, a- the A-list. Okay. So then that would mean if those two things are true, if we think that those two things are then true. Then forget the SoundCloud rapper. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But wouldn't wouldn't we have known? Wouldn't she have told us if an A Break. an A list? She didn't say B list. We're talking A list is like Drake. Like that's A li- like that's an A list celebrity, and she's never said that ever. Right? If like you do, I hope she needs to start. She needs to yeah. use that as clout if she if, has. If she's never said like, come on. If you have and you haven't told us, that's shame. crazy, bro. <laughs> if that was me, I'd be telling everybody. Right. Okay, you actually bring up the you good point. You know what I'm point. saying? I'm like, it's A, she and said maybe, an A-list celebrity. And I think that you're right on that because maybe it's like a B-list. Like it's really yeah, like- it's, so, or, it's, or it's like, like a huge like YouTuber or it's like somebody who like was famous like back in the day and like is like not as famous now. That's like B, that's like getting to be C territory. Yeah. I feel like she would have told us, especially with all my Raya chat, she's never brought it up. You're right. And we talked about Raya and all that stuff. Okay. So I don't think that. I think so now, too. Now, unfortunately. Yeah. That's why I wanted it. I know. I wanted it for her. But also maybe she just didn't talk about it because she didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, because it's secret. Boo. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. I don't think. I, I'm going to go with the A-list celebrity. I don't think Me too. that happened. Yeah. You're right. Yay! Completely made that up. There's we not got even it. Okay. any like, oh, it was a beat. No. Right. It was, no. No, it was nobody. It was nothing. never been hit yeah. on by a celebrity. <laughs> gotcha. But and you are so right in the Kenzie being in on it because Kenzie did Thank break into my you. ex's house with me to get my Pokemon cards See, back. I was like, if she had an ally and it was Kenzie, they did, they She's got like, it We're, done. Done. We're yeah, going. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fair. And their first kiss is a SoundCloud rapper now. Yeah, he is. Mm. He's a SoundCloud rapper. Good for him. I believe yeah. that. Yeah. Very, very, very like sweet kid. Very sweet story with the, the, the first kiss. But uh, yeah, now he's a SoundCloud rapper. Well, good. Mm. I hope you make it big, kid. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way Sierra's like, uh, the, you're so right. It there was literally the A-list. I, I was like, that is like giant celebrity. Yeah, you like, think like Brad Pitt hit on me and exactly. this is the first time I'm bringing it up? Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's why exactly. like, when you started with that, I was like, oh, God dang. And I'm all it. this yeah. chat about Ryan, the celebrities. I'm like, yeah. there's no way. Yeah. Yeah. T. No. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got it right. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, your turn. Oh, oh, my God. Is this my last one? I think so. Okie dokie. Here is my last one, you guys. I have been to Las Vegas at least 50 times. I don't like gambling. And I have seen Chris Angel perform in Las Vegas. So these are all Vegas related? Yeah. Okay. 50 times. Her parents like to go. Yeah, but 50? That's like twice a year since she was born. Okay, that's tea. That's a lot. That's tea. Are you counting like airport visiting? Like- a layover for an hour in Vegas? No, I'm saying like going to Vegas. Visit, yeah, like you like been, stayed yeah. in a hotel. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do know that like her parents, like that's like something that they did when she was a kid. Right. And like she goes now as an adult. Yeah. Since I've known her, you've definitely gone at least twice a year. So. Yeah. And, and Ryan goes. Yeah. And for work and stuff. We went last year. We went this year. Okay. And then 
you don't like gambling. Is that I, what you said? Does she like gambling? I've never seen her gamble. Mm. I've never. I love to gamble. (laughs) Okay, noted. Uh, The gambling that I've seen that I've done with her has been like fake gambling just to get like free drinks. So we like (laughs) sit there and like pretend play, but we don't actually do the minimum. Yeah, yeah, and get the free drinks. So I definitely. I mean, if she likes to gamble, she's not good at it and doesn't do it. (laughs) Oh my god! Because I've never seen. I've never seen you for real. Like sit down and do it. And you guys having been to Vegas together, like if she loves to gamble we we would be sitting there and she would be gambling yeah but like that's not the tea yeah Uh, that's not what i've seen yeah so i believe that she doesn't doesn't like like to gamble and then the second one is chris angel what did you say about it i've seen chris angel in las vegas perform i I feel like i believe that too i'm I'm so sorry who's chris angel chris angel mind freak is the gentleman that's like an illusionist and he's like very famous for standing on top of the like that little pyramid hotel and he like levitates. That's like his biggest Ooh, shtick. Sounds yeah. like she's seen it. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's my man. Oh, okay. I had him on my wall. That's the poster I had on in my, in my wall. Yeah, that one. Oh, you've talked about that oh, before. Oh, yeah. Yes. She's seen him. Look at him. So what's the lie? 50 times? Okay, I really, I, I believe that she doesn't like to gamble. I've never yep. seen it. And maybe she does and she doesn't do it around me because I don't gamble. That could also be it. I don't know, but I just don't think. Chris Angel, I know she, I, I definitely believe that she's seen him. But also, I believe that she's been to Vegas 50 times. Right. Like, right. And maybe maybe the Chris Angel one was thrown in there because you know she likes him. But has, but she, seen has she seen him? him? I feel like she would have told us about it if she had the poster on her wall. Right. It would be then a signed photo instead of just the poster. <laughs> right. Right. Let's go Chris Angel. Okay, yeah. That's like a little out yeah, there. But... Just, because, just because she knows right. doesn't mean that she's seen it in like in person but also if she's been there 50 times there's other, not right. just once right she's gone to see him right okay god so and i don't so like to gamble <laughs> so what is the lie maybe she does like to get okay so maybe she does like to gamble but because I, and i've only been with her two times maybe and maybe she's like well ryan doesn't gamble she's just here for the drinks and i'll just do what she's doing well and maybe that's what she likes about gambling because like i i would say i like to gamble but the way you described it, yeah, that's what I do. I just sit there, you know, the minimum. I think of it like adult Chuck E. Cheese. Mm-hmm. Right. Spend some money. I'm probably going to walk away with nothing except maybe a little teeny prize. <laughs> right. Which is the drink. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm. That's the like uh, the little friendship bracelet. <laughs> right. And the, the eraser. Uh-huh. The alien that has on a parachute. Yeah. Right. The whoopee cushion. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the tequila soda. Mm-hmm. Yes. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. So maybe Let's she go, does yeah. like gambling. Yeah. Okay. I could okay, send so that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's send it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You like, you like gamble. gambling. You guys were right about the Chris Angel. I have oh! never. Also, his show closed in like 2018. I was like, she oh. wouldn't have been. She would have been in college, but I wasn't going to say that part. I oh. wanted to see Chris Angel perform so bad that I would walk when I was in Las Vegas. I would like always keep my eyes open because his shtick would he be walking the streets and just go up to random people and do stuff. So I was like, if I'm always like on the streets in the strip, hopefully I can see him and I've had friends go see the show, get me signed shirts, get me mm. merch, get me bookmarks. Look I have had everything poster. from yep. the shirts, but I've never had the opportunity to see that show. Dang. Wow. That why you were in Vegas so much? Like, maybe I will bump into <laughs> Chris Angel. Probably. Potentially. No. Wow. That, that was my, hard. N- yeah. It, I, I mean, we we really we were logistic about all of it. We, we were got like, there. We we were taxiing at the air at the airport, but we didn't get off. We yeah. flew to another place. Watching yes. you guys talk through that was like awesome though because you were so right with like facts were had and I was like oh they got it and then when you said and you're like no and then you switched and I was like oh my god I know I'm just, yeah oh, that was I, good I thank you so yeah, I really worked hard because I was like what do you not know me saying I talking know. about Vegas like I was like well I've been there with this so and I was like she does she know if I like gambling I don't like gambling because I if my dad's like oh here's a hundred bucks what I'd rather just spend it and know I get something and I remember telling you but I was like we were like, right I don't know if she remembers I, I will well I went through all of that right I was yeah. like but I've only gone two times and if she's gone 50 times she could have gambled all those other times yeah. right. like maybe she didn't because she didn't feel like she needed to or that was not the vibe because yeah. I don't gamble I go to Vegas minimum like three times a year and yeah. I, it's been happening since I was little like my parents got so funny story 
probably not good, but <laughs> side, side, side. Um, my parents, when I was really young, they like got in trouble in Las Vegas for like a lot because I hopped up onto like a little bar or something and they were like, you can't have your daughter here. So they got kicked out of like that hotel because right. you oh know, my they were like gambling or whatever. And I just hopped up and they were like, wow, what were we doing? We, I guess we were not watching you so intently. And they were like, right. such bad parents bringing their right. child to Las Vegas. And they were like, like, I just want to see Chris Angel. See and also yeah. like there are children all over Vegas. Yeah, all the there's time. A lot there's of a lot of kids in, in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. yeah, so my dad loves okay. to gamble, so I have been carried along the ride. And Ryan has worked so much there that through right, COVID, Ryan I, works, yeah. I travel to Vegas. Well, like felt like once a month. Yeah, yeah. I listen to a podcast every day. I stand in the sun for five minutes every day. I watch YouTube every day. She definitely stands in the sun every day mm-hmm. for five minutes. I feel like that's always a thing when we're on break from the podcast. She's like, I'm gonna go outside. Get some sun. Like, that's very much a Ryan thing. Mm-hmm. My only discrepancy is she's saying five minutes. I don't want the, to, to be like, oh, I have to at least have 10, ten. minutes or something like that. Because yeah. at least you need five. Yeah, yeah. She, Can you tell us that five is like the minimum? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Because she has, like she has said, she's like, I am a plant. I must consume yes. sun. Yes. To the sun. YouTube every day or podcast every day? YouTube. YouTube. Because she has to have her ASMR. Yep. Yep. So okay. podcast, podcast is the lie. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Damn it. Damn. Ugh. Boo. <laughs> boo. Yeah. The sun. I need the sun. I, or I. I don't know. I can't. I'm not a dungeon baby. I just like cannot do it. Me. Yeah. <laughs> dungeon. I love dungeon. The darkness. Mm-hmm. Dungeon. When we live together, I would be. There would be days where I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna ask to open the window today because I know that she's not gonna want to. So then tomorrow I'll be like. Can we open the curtains because it's been dark in here for two days and I need it? And she's like, fine. <laughs> I grew up in a really, I guess my home was like always just like dark. Like, and people have mentioned like, your like family house doesn't have like a lot of lights. Uh, they like it dark too. And so I've right. grown up in a cave and now when the blinds are open, I always like, <laughs> like literally I do every melts. She time. Literally melts. And so my boyfriend also is like, okay, babe, I'm going to open the curtains. And I'm like, oh my God. And Brace uh, well, yourself. Literally, I mean, it's so funny because when the three of us lived together, Ryan and I would be like, like, open the blinds. Yeah. And Paloma would be like, eh. and I'm like, well, it's two against one, so you can't. <laughs> and also, Ryan and I are both earth signs, so that does check out a little bit with the with the sun and the earthly mm-hmm. earthly me- measures. And you being a Scorpio scary dungeon child. <laughs> it, it checks out. It checks out for sure. Definitely. <laughs> okay, Sierra. Sierra, bring us okay. home. Bring us home. Last one. Bring him home. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I used to love steak before I became a vegetarian. Ooh. I've been to a nude beach and I've been skydiving. I feel like she has mentioned a story about going to a nude beach. Okay. I mean, I could believe that. There is a nude beach in San Diego, so. But was that Sierra? I'm so dead ass. I, I don't know, know. I've heard a story about someone visiting a nude beach, but I don't know if it was Sierra to tell me. Who loves steak? To I skydive. No, I I, we'll get there. But I'm steak. still stuck on the skydive. Like okay. there would be a video on YouTube of her skydiving, right? What if she's... she did it when she was a kid, can kids skydive? No, I think okay, it would be at okay, least, okay. Like, eighteen years old. Okay, and she definitely started vlogging when she was like nineteen or something yeah. like that, like nineteen. Like if I'm, if I'm a vlogger, no, I'm I mean if you're, yeah, no, 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 it's, yeah, yeah, no, footage. for sure, for sure. If yeah, if she so was, that's my only like. Okay, I don't I think that. there's a video because I think kids can't skydive, and if she was grown, she would have vlogged it, right? Because why would she not vlog that, right? Right. Can I weigh in? Please. Sure. Yes. I think the skydive is a lie and locked it. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to. No, no. Lock your own answers. I'm, I have no basis. It is I mean, I feeling. guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm like, the steak is definitely a lie. I don't know why I feel that way. But. Yeah. I don't because it makes sense. Like if you go from like one side of the spectrum to the other, that's so like normal. Like people mm, do that where right. they're like, I love it so much that they're just like. No, I don't. No, I don't. Even. Okay. And I'm, again, I'm just really strong about the footage. Where are the receipts? No, I feel that. I feel that. Okay. Skydiving. Thank you. Final answer. My heart Switch is it. telling me the steak. Then stick to the steak. I think I'm going to stick to your the guns. steak. Yeah. I think, yeah. Tell us. Skydiving. Yes. <laughs> I did used to love steak. <laughs> so I was a vegetarian as a child, but like vegetarian ish. Mm. And then when I was a teenager, I like just kind of stopped like even really thinking about it. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I don't know, you, you're a teenager, you eat right. whatever. And um, I went through a stage where I loved Applebee's steak. That was like my I'm favorite screaming. food. <laughs> like, after rehearsal, like, because I could drive and my little brother was like in the shows with me. I'd be like, you want to go to Applebee's? Right. Because like, I really want like the Applebee's steak with the shrimp on top. Oh my God. I'm screaming. I know the Applebee's steak. She's yeah, talking about yeah, also yeah. the theater we, girl. Also, like, we, 
I know the Applebee's. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were also going to Applebee's after rehearsal. Oh Steven, my God. When I was brainstorming for this, Stephen told me I should put that one in. He's like, because like to be a vegetarian and like have eaten like hamburgers or corn dogs or whatever, like it's like a little less removed, but like a steak. Mm-hmm. Like I'm all, that's why I'm like, yeah. And you said love and I'm like, who the f- loved I guess, it? Yeah. Sierra Applebee's. loves yeah, steak. Yeah, I heard that. I was like, she used to love this meat. I know it. She did. Yeah. And now usually I'm like grossed out at the thought of like myself eating meat, but talking about this Applebee steak, I'm like, I mean, you loved <gasps> it, you miss it. Mm. Mm. Just that meal, that yeah. specific, the Applebee steak. Yeah, that right, one. right. Yeah. yeah, dang it. And uh, yeah, I've never been skydiving, so and if you were, you there would have seen the footage. footage. Yeah, Thank you. You're right. Okay. But oh, I boo. did lie to Steven when we first started talking. Is that Didn't how you, you knew? Tell us this on Monday. Weren't they here? No, Jaden and Kenzie were here. Oh my god. Okay, I was like, I don't know from where because I feel like I would have remembered you guys being there, and it could have been a figment of my imagination. But I was like, no, nah, no. Yeah, I am like terrified of the idea of like skydiving. Like I like I'm fine with heights if I'm like restrained. Right. But like jumping, absolutely not. Right. And when Steven and I first started talking, he had gone skydiving twice. And he was like, I want to go again. It's so fun. Me trying to like relate to anything I could was right. like, wow, that sounds so fun. I'd love to do that someday with like zero intention of ever following through right and then we like actually start dating and stuff and like six months into our relationship he's like hey my brother and i were like talking about going skydiving i know you've always wanted to go i was like i'm so sorry but i completely made that up (laughs) i'm so sorry no (laughs) yeah damn but the reason it came up is we were saying if we ever did a schultzy channel video where we all faced our biggest fears kenzie was like it would have to be skydiving for you Oh my gosh. Yeah, and you threatened to put, like, strap me to a chair and make me relax. <laughs> <laughs> See, why has Steven gone, sco- like, skydiving so many times at such a young age? That's so interesting. Yeah. I think yeah. The, that's what I asked him. I'm like, skydiving twice is, like, interesting because, like, right. you think, like, you do it once and, and like, like, awesome. Set. I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he really loved it. Yeah. yeah. He said he'd love to go again. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I was going to say, not with me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I would love to go skydiving. My only fear is, my one of my uncles recently like went and he did mess up his back so now my mom's like mm. see he had to have surgery because like when you pull the shoe he it just like oh well, rocks you know, your you know, body it, it, there's a jolt or whatever and right. it hurt his back or whatever and 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 she's like and that, to have that for the rest of your life and i'm like so maybe i still do it but when i'm like older and like everything already hurts so my <laughs> just, you know <laughs> right us at 90 we yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm like to send it right now at 27. Like that would it's be have, the rest of my life. Right. I'm, I'm gonna happens. be honest. You could just step funny and fuck up your knee. Like exactly. right. shit does happen. So, right. And I do. And that happens. <laughs> right. Right. I literally slept wrong the other day, and I could not look this oh, way yeah. for like oh, so yeah. long. Oh, this is me. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, I yeah. also feel like holding off on the skydiving, but also will do for sure before I pass away. Well, you and Steven can go have a yep. good time. And I will be on the ground getting oh, yeah. you that footage. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> yes. I love that. That's how you figured it out too. And, and I'm sitting here trying to be like, I didn't start YouTube when I was 19. I could have done it in that year. But uh, of course I didn't. Well, I was yeah. like, right. You, and, I, and the whole like kids probably can't skydive. I've never seen kids skydiving before. Yeah. So, but I just wanted to, it seems so obvious. And that's the other reason why I didn't want to choose it is because it seemed so obvious that that was the one. So I was like, okay, the stake. That seems like low stake, low stakes. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. I felt that like as a trap. I heard it and I was like, mm, I know. It's giving I, trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, it, and it was. And it was. And, and it was. I've been to quite a few nude beaches. There's Black's Beach in San Diego, which right. is a nude beach. Been there a couple times. And then traveling in Europe, most of the beaches oh. are like clothing optional. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And usually I would like wear a swimsuit or at least swim bottoms. But right. there were a couple times that I was like, yeah. There's a beach in New York that's like, like n- not officially like, the LGBTQ plus beach, but like it is the LGBTQ plus beach. Like oh. that's like the T. And yeah. again, it's unofficial. There's like no signs that say that, but like you go there and you're like, oh, I know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And that's like clothing optional. Mm. And that was like the first time I went to like, an, it's not a nude beach, but I went to a clothing optional beach and I didn't wear a top. And I was like, wow, this is, at first I was like, no one look at me. And then I was like, Ain't nobody looking at me anyways. Yeah. Child. So right. it was lit. And it was and no so tan hot. Lines? So it was great. Yeah, yeah that no sounds lines. fantastic. But also fun. like sunscreen. I took a friend of Black's once and she did not reapply Ooh. on her sensitive areas that have never seen the light of day. Oh, <laughs> and she shit. blistered. <gasps> it was a problem. Wow. Especially this like side boot part that like girl. never sees. I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, she got the nickname yeah. B-Nips after that. <gasps> no. Because oh. the blisters. Oh. B-Nips. b 
did? Poor thing. Oh. Thinking about you being yeah. there. Yeah, thinking of you. Dang. If you've ever had a sunburn in a sensitive area, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and I see you. But don't let that hold you back from the nude beach because right. it is liberating. Just apply the sunscreen yeah. and keep applying it. Yeah. You'll be all right. <laughs> And, and on that, that note, <laughs> thank you for watching this episode of 20 Whatever. Uh, let us know how you fared in your guesses with the two truths and a lie. Um, and let us know if you want to see that Never Have I Ever episode, because that would be fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. We already started playing it this round. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah you got a sneak peek because we don't know how to play any games. But make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 100K. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok and everywhere else. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.